Hello, people. Got a roulette match here against Pokefan 00001. I've been mouthful. Oh, yeah. And um, this is a pretty good match. It was, it was fun. Certainly fun. So, here we go. I get my Specs 8 lead, which is pretty cool. He gets a Nido King. And at any other point in time, I'd think definitely Stealth Rock. But as it's a roulette, I'm not sure. So, I just go for the Overheat because it's the only thing I have that can really hurt it. And he has a sash, which tells me he definitely has a Stealth Rock lead. So, he just goes for Stealth Rock. And I'm just going to take this point now to say just how stupid Stealth Rock leads are. Nido King, brilliant sweeper. All it ever does is die instead of Stealth Rock. Same as Aerodactyl. Really pisses me off. But anyway, rant over. He switches out, probably to keep it a death fodder, and he brings an immense, an up over him, and he sees going down, down, down. I'm dead. It's dead. I get a crit, and um, the crit negates my special attack drop, and I'm spec, so I'm actually able to one it KO, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it's unlucky for him, but I had three walls of Ice Beam. I scarfed him only with Stone Edge, so, you know, I'm just done too big a wouldn't have been that big a deal. Brings in Reiku, that's not good for me. I'm accepted him to set up a sub. That car mining it doesn't substitute, which is really bad for him. I bring out um, him only. I am scarfed. Maybe he didn't expect me to be scarfed. Maybe he didn't expect me to pack, a, pack Earthquake, because that's not common. I'm not sure. But I take it out, which is brilliant, because I was expecting to have to take major damage from the thing, but it's dead. So yay. Brings out a Dom fan, which I can't touch out to my crest. This is the first time I've ever used the thing, so I'm not really sure what it's going to do. I think I'm more physically bulky because I'm a calm minder. Wasn't really sure what to do here against Dom Fan. I thought about calm minding, but I went straight for the ice beam. Doesn't do that much, but he roars me out, which is you know good. I didn't go for the ice beam, not the um, calm mind. Didn't expect to roar on Dom Fan to be honest. I don't face that many of them, but yeah, I still think it should be OU personally, but. You know, it's more gonna retard. Anyway, brought me out to my Gastrodon. He goes to Articuno. I think I, I go for the Surf. I want Dom Fan Toxic, but um, I'm scared he's gonna bring Nido King in for free on a Toxic, and I don't want that. So, he Toxics me, as I expected. I stay in just to Toxic him, but I'm not gonna complain. I did Chris's men, so I won't complain. I know he's going to switch now, expecting another Toxic, and he's going to go straight to Nido King. So I'm just going to uh, surf it, and that fulfills my prediction that it's Stealth Rock lead. It just says it's Stealth Rock and dies. What a useless Nido King. But yeah, I really, really hate Stealth Rock lead. But anyway, I'm getting hurt by poison for quite a bit. I think that's the second turn, so I don't want to stay in too much longer. Bring back out this thing, and the only thing I can really have that I think can one hit KO it is um, him on Lee, and I don't want really to rely on Stone Edge because I don't think Blaze Kick or all close combat will take it out. Um, so yeah, I just missed what just happened. What the hell? I think I went for I went for another Toxic and missed. I think switch out to Infernape just to because I think the best he can hit me with it at Ice Beam probably packs Toxic Ice Beam Heal Bell maybe maybe Roost. I don't know, but I don't think he can touch me. Go, go, play it safe-ish. Go for an overheat. My strongest move, specs, stab. I'm modest. I actually want it KO it, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect that, but I, like I said, I didn't think he could kill me anyway, so still a safe move. He goes up to hit Monchan, and with my uh, attack drop, I ain't gonna be hurting this thing. It's, it's bulky anyway. I go to Crest, take a close combat really easily. I've got um got Moonlight, I think, if I need to recover. But it's not doing much to me anyway. And uh, he switches that out and can't remember what I do. I go for a calm mind. Based on um the damage I did to it last time. I'm pretty sure I can't one hit KO it at this health of ice beam, but have nothing to lose. Probably the best thing he can do to me is roll me out, and I don't mind. I've still got all six of my guys at this point, and he's not seen most of them. So he does roll me out, and brings me out to Smeagol. 
And unfortunately, this thing only works as a lead. It's kind of crippled by stuff lock. I see. It's got no health left. I'm max attack. I think, come on, Smeagol, we can do this. Go for a stabbed max attack, extreme speed. And it lives and one hit kills me with earthquake. Oh, well. Should have gone for a spore. That was a safe move, but, you know, at 6-2, I didn't really need to play it safe. Oh, well. Never mind. Go out to my Malotic. Knowing um, I could just kill it. I will outspeed. Kill it with Surf. And now he's only got one guy left. I still have five. This match is pretty much over. And he goes out to uh, his last guy, which is Simon Lee. And he goes for Ice Punch, which at first I thought, you know, he's predicting a switch. He does freeze me, by the way, which, you know... Yeah, like I said, I won't complain. I quit his mint, so... It's just annoying. Doesn't really matter at this point. So, like I said, I thought he was predicting a switch. So I go to Cress, not knowing what, um, what he's going to do now. He goes for another Ice Punch. And as you'll see, all he does for the remainder of this match is Ice Punch. Which tells me he's probably banded. He didn't want to lock himself into close combat because he can't touch Cress. Didn't want to... Um, He's Thunder Punch because my Gastron's immune. So Ice Punch is probably the best thing he had. So he stayed in a little bit. I went for the Toxic, by the way, with my Melotic when he froze me. I was trying to get this thing Toxic. So he froze me my Melotic. But unfortunately for him, my Cress also carries Toxic. So I just Toxic him. And now it's just going to be Toxic storming him until he dies. Flash, just bring in something to kill him. It's actually quite cool because three of my guys had pretty much the exact same move set. They all had Toxic, Ice Beam, and a Recovery move. And two of them had Surf. The only difference was Crest had Calm Mind. So, it's quite a weird team, but kind of fun. Which is why Roulette's are cool. I go out to uh, Melodic knowing he's locked into Ice Punch. He can't touch me whatsoever. And he just uh, please. So that's a uh, good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe.